Hello students, welcome to my exam B. Students, this is the last part of our series which we started with respect to the previous year paper of Companies Act for SEBI Grade A Officer Examination. So, this last part hai, that is the part 3. In case if you have missed to watch the previous two parts, you can go to the description of this particular video wherein you can get the link of those two parts and you can watch them. But before we move ahead with our today's discussion with respect to the last part of the series, let me remind you over here that do remember to subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon so that you can stay tuned and stay updated and you do not miss on to any of these important discussions which we bring up on a regular basis for enhancing your preparations and in case if you have any questions queries or any doubt with respect to the various competitive exams you can approach to us for that you can connect us through the email id or the phone number which is displayed on the screen now moving ahead with our today's discussion as i already mentioned ki ye jo hai last part hai, that is part 3 which with respect to the previous year paper of Companies Act for the SEBI Grade A Officer Examination. So, in this last part, we will see how Companies Act se kaise questions or bhi aate hain. Moving on to that, you can see the very first question for today's discussion is As per which section of the Companies Act 2013, the ROC can remove the name of the company if the company has not been carrying on its business for two years and you have to tell the correct section number. So, you can see that in our previous year paper discussion, you have to tell the मिल रहा है कि किन तरह के क्वेश्चंस आते हैं एग्जाम में नाउ दिस इज अ सेक्शन नंबर बेस्ड क्वेश्चन तो यू डू नॉट नीड टू टेक लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेस दैट आपको क्या सारे के सारे सेक्शन नंबर्स याद करने हैं कंपनीज ऐप के नो इट इज नॉट द केस जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन नंबर्स हैं यू नीड टू बी थरो विद देम एंड सो मूविंग ऑन टू आवर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन द वेरियस ऑप्शंस यू कैन सी व्हिच इज डिस्प्लेड ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर 2 व्हिच इज सेक्शन 248 एंड सेक्शन 248 का सब सेक्शन 1 आप देख सकते हो जिसमें there are various grounds based on which the RC can remove the name of the company. So, one of those grounds is if the company is not carrying on its business for two years. Now, moving on to the next question, it talks about reduction of share capital can be done by. So, you know that companies act is talking about the various provisions with respect to going ahead for the reduction of share capital. So, what is one of those important things for going ahead and carrying on the reduction of share capital? You can see the options and the correct option is B, which is special resolution which is provided under section 66 of the Companies Act which mentions that subject to the confirmation by the tribunal on an application by the company, a company limited by shares or limited by guarantee and having share capital may by a special resolution reduce the share capital. So for the reduction of share capital, special resolution is required and confirmation from the tribunal is required as per this particular section 66. Next question is talking about as per company law, the association which has 1000 shares of which 9 nine 99 are with one person and another as one share would be termed as which type of organization and the correct option is D which is private company and that is a company in which there are at least two members and there is a restriction with respect to the right to transfer of shares. The next question is an associate company in relation to another company is a company in which another company has a minority stake and has significant influence over it. What is meant by significant influence in this statement. So, aap dek sakte ho ki section mein jo hai significant influence term ko bhi waha pe explain kiya gaya hai and the question has been asked from there. So, when you are studying any provision aapko dhyan rakhna hai ki ek section ya uske provisions jabha par le ho, what all things or from what all angles you need to study that particular section. Now, correct option for this particular question is B which is control of at least 20% of voting power. Section 2, clause 6 mein diya wa hai associate company ka definition jaha pe ki aap dek sakte ho ki explanation mein jo hai is particular section ke definition mein explain kiya hua hai significant influence means control of at least 20% of the total voting power or control of or participation in business decisions under an agreement. Then further aap dek sakte joint venture bhi waha pe explain kiya gaya hai. So likewise when you are studying it you have to not only understand the concept but the different terminologies which has been used in that particular concept. Now moving on to our next question which is talking about how many schedules are there in the company one of the very basic and important questions you can say because generally when we prepare karte hai, in type of questions we ignore karte hai, considering that CBI ke exam mein number of schedules, number of sections, enactment and enforcement date ye sab nahi puche jayenge. but you can see this is one of the basic questions which has come up so you need to be thorough with the basics also so how many schedules are there? the correct option is 7 which is option D so companies act is an act of the parliament as we know and it has been divided into 29 chapters 
four seventy sections and seven schedules. A charge against a company's property is registered with. So the charge which is created with respect to the company's property that is required to be registered, and so which is the authority with whom it has to be registered. You can see the various options displayed on the screen, and the correct option is registrar of companies, which is option D. Yeah, because section seventy seven me diya duty to register charges, and there in subsection one is talking about that the charge against a company's property that is required to be registered with the ROC. With this, we come to an end of our the series with respect to the previous year paper for the Companies Act. But do remember to subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon so that you can stay tuned and stay updated, and you can enhance your preparations with us at IEXAMB because we at IEXAMB help you prepare 50% faster for your various competitive exams with our crisp and precise content.